Hello students in today's session we are going to learn an amazing beverage that is coffee do you know brazil is the largest producer of coffee in the world colombia is second the ivory coast is the third and indonesia is the fourth in the previous video we discussed tea under which we discussed types of tea processing of tea and golden rules of tea making history of coffee ethiopia is the country in africa where coffee was originated there is evidence to suggest that coffee trees were cultivated about 1000 years ago in yemen the first commercial cultivation of coffee is thought to have been yemen district of arabia in the 15th century the first coffee house was opened in england in oxford in 1650 the coffee plant the coffee trees are the genus coffee which belongs to the rubiaca family the coffee plant is an evergreen plant or a bush which is grown commercially in tropical climatic throughout the world it requires not only a hot climate but also a high rainfall rich soil and a relatively high altitude the coffee plant is unable to survive wide variation of temperatures or any other condition types of coffee plants the first is coffee arabica it is one of the best quality coffee its beans are uniform bold regular sized and have good flavor it is grown in india brazil colombia costa rica kenya and jamaica coffee canefora or also known as coffee robusta It is the second best type of coffee. The beans from the plant are usually smaller of a lower quality and neutral flavor. It gives higher yield than arabica. It is grown in East and West Africa. And the last category is coffee liberica. Produces third main type of coffee. The beans are large in size but lack in quality. It is grown in Malaysia and Guyana. processing of coffee there are two types of coffee processing depending on the country in which processing is carried out those countries which has abundant of water uses wet method of coffee production and those countries who have scarcity of water uses dry method of coffee processing we are going to discuss wet method of coffee processing it starts with harvesting Traditionally coffee supplied for wet processing is selectively hand picked so that the level of immature cherry is kept to less than a few percent floating harvested cherry is first put into water most of the over mature cherries floats so it separate together with any floating prime cherry pulping skinning cherry contains prime beans and is pulped in pulping machines which rupture the cherry expelling the coffee beans within the purpose also is all is to you know take out the pulp and bean next step is fermentation pulped coffee beans are fermented to remove the slippery mucilage covering the parchment fermentation hydrolyzes this mucilage and the product of this process are removed during subsequent washing fermentation start by itself because the the pectinase which causes hydrolysis is already present in the mucilage the rate of fermentation depend on the temperature but can be accelerated by acting by the addition of pectolytic enzymes washing after fermentation the degre degraded mucilage is removed by thorough washing with clean water and prevent any further proliferation of microorganism drying after draining the washed coffee beans is ready for drying either artificially or in the sun storage dry parchment coffee can be stored before milling and grading under correct condition parchment coffee can be stored for at least 12 month without serious quality loss next is hewing the outer parchment layer surrounding the bean is removed by hewing machines polishing the silver 
skin layer surrounding the bean is removed this operation is usually incorporated in the healing machine and then the grading various coffee beans are graded into different categories the most important step is roasting green coffee should be roasted in to release aroma the degree of roasting depend on the style of coffee to be prepared the blended green coffee beans are heated in a rotating horizontal drum prevent uneven roasting and scorching the common temperatures for roasting are as follows light roasting which roasting at 193 degrees celsius for light color this degree of roasting preserves delicate aroma of coffee medium that is roasting at 205 degrees celsius for light color gives a strong flavor than light roasting and then full or dark roasting which is done at 218 degree celsius for dark color it gives a bitter flavor then we have laced coffees or also known as variations of coffee the first one is long black coffee served without milk in large cup cafe noir coffee served without milk topped with thick and cream decaffeinated coffee coffee without the stimulant caffeine hag and sanka are popular brands of decaffeinated coffee liquor coffee coffee served with spirit or liquor irish coffee is one example cappuccino usually equal parts espresso steamed milk and froth milk often with cinnamon or flaked chocolate sprinkled on top cafe latte essentially a single shot of espresso in steamed milk the ratio of milk to coffee should be 3 is to 1 coffee brands there are various coffee brands throughout the world and some of the best brands are aroma altera cafe nero cafe breath and cafe coffee day which is from india and it's originated in bengaluru there is an assignment for you find out various methods of brewing coffee with this the coffee we have come to the end of this module of first semester food and beverages continue watching for further reading on any topic related to food and beverages you can log on to www.hospitalitynu.blogspot.com thank you